Hello, my name is Dr. Ruth Vine um, and I'm speaking to you from Ngunnawal country. Welcome to another um, Mental Health Monday segment. Uh, today I'm, I'm going to talk about some of the biological factors that influence mental health and some of the small changes we can make to improve our mental health and well-being. Mental health or you know your mood, your, your feelings and acting is pretty important. It affects our everyday life. It affects work, relationships and study. The World Health Organization defines mental health as a state of mental well-being that enables people to cope with the stresses of life, to realize their abilities, to learn well and work well and contribute to their community. So mental health and well-being underpins our individual and our collective abilities to make decisions, build relationships and help shape the world we live in. Looking after your mental well-being is just as important as looking after keeping your physical body healthy. When we're feeling emotionally healthy, we can be fully present with our family and friends and community. Taking care of our mental health and well-being looks a bit different to everyone. It's about finding a balance in aspects of life that works for you. It's about your whole person, your physical, mental, social and emotional uh, parts of your being. Making small adjustments can help you learn what works for you and, and to, to stay well. And there are a number of well-proven ways to look after and maintain your mental health and well-being. These include, firstly, getting enough sleep. Repeatedly, studies show that good quality sleep can improve our mental health and well-being and enable us to approach our daily lives feeling more energised and restored. But with our increasingly busy lives and all the dis distractions around us, it can be difficult to achieve the recommended seven to nine hours of sleep for adults and eight to 10 hours for young people aged 13 to 18. Not getting enough sleep uh, or disrupted sleep can impact our physical and mental health. Lack of sleep has been linked to a whole range of health conditions, including high blood pressure, low immunity and inflammation, but it affects our mood and temperament as well. To improve the quality of your sleep, try establishing a sleep schedule, a routine that works for you. It might include going to bed at the same time every night, waking up at about the same time every morning. Um, evidence shows that doing exercise, maybe taking a warm bath or shower before bed, keeping your room dark and blocking out as much noise as you can, can also help in establishing a better sleep routine. Turn off screens well before you go to bed. But working out what routine works for best for you and sticking to it as much as possible is the most important thing and will support better sleep habits. Secondly, eating well. So a nutritious diet is not just good for your body, it's good for your brain and, and for your mental health. There's a strong link between what we, what we eat and how we feel. A healthy diet is linked with better stress management, concentration and overall improved mental health. Um, I know it can be hard to think about our diet when we're struggling with our mental health, but we're seeing evidence that eating a balanced diet, variety of fruit, vegetables, nuts, whole grains, can actually improve mental health. And in fact, this is a, a, a new and a, uh, exciting area of research. You don't have to make big changes to your diet to positively influence your mental health. A few ideas, um, try eating plenty of high fiber foods, grains, fruits, vegetables, um, make sensible swaps like choosing whole grain bread or rice instead of um, fast foods and white varieties. Um, choose the good fats rather than the bad fats like fats found in vegetables, avocado seeds, nuts, olive oil. Be aware of how much caffeine you're consuming, um, particularly later in the day as too much can cause sleep problems and affect your mood. And thirdly, keep active. Physical activity, we know, is not just good for your body, but great for your mind. Um, it, uh, it can release feel-good chemicals, uh, it has a mood-lifting effect, and of course also can improve self-esteem and help with your sleep and give you more energy. Um, in order to get active, it's important to find something you like to do. You might start, setting, start small by setting achievable goals for yourself, keeping track of your progress and noticing um, how you're improving. So maybe start with a gentle activity in an environment where you feel comfortable um, and just improve it and increase it over time. It is important to make time for exercise and physical activity um, and to do that most days. 
doesn't mean running a marathon, doesn't mean taking out um, gym membership. It might just mean going for a regular walk with a friend, your dog, a swim in the river or the beach, um, or a bit of um, kicking a ball with friends. All great ways to, to move more. And mostly being outside and being in nature makes us feel better anyway, as well as um, reduce levels of anxiety. Participating in team sports for some people is a great way to get active, maintain friendships and of course form new friendships. Further information on tips to boost your mental health and wellbeing are available at the Department of Health and Aged Care website www.health.gov.au. With the right activities and support, you'll be better off in managing and improving your mental health and wellbeing. When things get tough, of course, it can then help to talk to someone who understands what you and other young people go through. Help is available 24 hours a day, anywhere in Australia if you're in crisis. If you need help now, call Lifeline 131114, Kids Helpline 1800 55 1800 or Beyond Blue 1300 22 4636. And for further information and resources, visit headspace.org.au. Thank you again. See you next time. Bye-bye.